Hi, I'm Doreen Cardin. I'm here today in the home farm and I'm talking about uh, the vasectomized bull as a method for actually heat detection. I use three of them here. I generally use the bull from a dairy herd with high health status that's monitoring neonates, either a Jersey cross or a black and white bull. Uh, basically, get the vasectomized when it's young, it's actually easier. Make sure it's vasectomized. And this boy here now would do a lot of harm if he wasn't actually vasectomized. Fit him with a ring so you know exactly. I mean, the bull that is vasectomized, make sure he's big enough to actually mate the cows because it's the mating and the top of the marks at the top of the backs we actually need. Also, try and get a bull with good temperament that's a gentle soul because um, we have to get in the cows when there's one in heat, we have to change his chin ball. I mean, after every 10 to 15 matings, and also we don't want him to put some really good bull calves who might actually be getting acted as the season goes on or if you have an actual spread out calving pattern. Ball then uh, uh, that we use is this one here. It's a very, very good chin ball. Um, it's uh, just padded behind the ears, uh, pad the nose pad of it because that avoids you cutting in. It's made of leather, costs about 150 euro, and like all leather, it stretches. So I adjust it in such a way that it fits comfortable in the bull without actually cutting into him. Instead of using a bandage around here, the other thing you could use is actually the yellow volume washer. So I mean, just thread it through here. The buckles just, I mean, a bit of WD-40, I mean, to stop them getting rusty. And um, then there's a bung here in it where you actually put in the paint. So fit it to the bull, get him used to it, and he will mark the cows for you. The paint then, so I mean, it comes in litres and it comes in five litres. It comes in red, it comes in blue, it comes in yellow, and it comes in green. And with this paint, it's a heavy oil base. The top of it, it's a heavy oil. The bottom it's paint if it settles for a while. So after winter, or when you get the first drum of paint, really shake it absolutely vigorously. Much more so than you would other paint, or else put it into a bucket of warm water, or get a stick to you know I mean with it, right? Uh, top up your chin ball, use a color that suits you. In wet weather, red and blue stays on very well. In fine weather, uh, the yellow and the green is probably more appropriate because they fade quicker. But the important thing is, get a color that suits you, that you like, that works for you. Also get a colour that suits your cows and change the colour every three weeks. Keep the chin ball absolutely topped up and morning and evening then. Before you go to work and when you come home in the evening, go into the field and the first thing you'll do is look to see where is the vasectomized bull, what cows is he with. He's usually with the cow that's coming on or, that he, or that's on heat and then check any cow for markings. If you were away for 12 hours or 18 hours or so forth, and he will mark them very well. A young bull will do a lot of coating marks on the side of the cow, but it's the marks at the top of the back. So they're absolutely excellent. They'll work 24 hours a day, seven days a week for you. No PAYE, no PRSI. You just have to make sure that they don't get injured. And one way of avoiding that is uh, uh, make sure that um, uh, you get a bull that's actually big enough to mate.